Hello friends, welcome to your only channel, Scala Express. Today we will learn about how to define things in Scala. In Scala, we have two options to define variables, one called val, other one called var. When we define variable with val, it gives us immutable nature to our variable. And when we define our variable with var, it gives us mutable nature to our variable. When we define variable with val, like if you see, if you see here, I have used val, val keyword, and then variable name, and then its value. When we define variable like this, it gets a nature of immutable and we cannot reassign any value to it. When I try to reassign the value, I served with error reassignment to val. That means as per the Scala contract, we cannot reassign any value to its variable which has been defined with val keyword. Now, I'll try to define variable with var keyword so here I'm utilizing keyword called var, then I have given variable name called greeting, and then welcome to Scala Express is our value. So here we have defined a variable with var keyword, which has mutable nature. Now when we try to reassign value in this variable, it's completely fine, and it do not serve any error to us. So it is always recommended that we should use var for mutable purpose when we need to keep reassign value in a variable and we need to use val for immutable purposes when we need to have constant and the val keyword va variable value shouldn't be changed throughout the life cycle of your application. Here we comes to define the functions. Scala gives us option to define a function with def keyword. So here I'm defining sum of two numbers function with def keywords and here this is our function name and this function has two parameters int type a int and b int. The, f the written type of this function is int and the business logic is a plus b. This is how we define function. To call this function, we just need to type the name of this function with its argument. And when you press enter, you will get the result. Scala gives us class keyword to define the class. By the way, classes are the blueprints of objects. That means class can have its members as variable and classes can have its functions. I have written one example, class, the keyword and the class name we need to write here and then we need to open curly braces. When we open curly braces and hit enter, it will take us in the next line to the next line. Then we define some functions like we have seen earlier the same way and then we hit enter the cursor will immediately goes to the next line and then we will close our curly braces. In order to call the class members, you can create an object first, like by using new keyword, like in any other language. And then after writing new, you need to write the class name with empty parenthesis because here we have not given any parameter to this class and then dot its member function, sum of two numbers, and then its arguments 2 comma 2 comma is the delimiter between these arguments when you do the enter it will serve you the result since Scala being called as a pure object oriented language it does give an option to define object as well objects are static member if you see the java if you take a reference from java java has a static member and scala has its object whatever we write inside the object 
as its members it will behave as a static members to the class by the way scala treat objects as a singleton objects and its member function will be accessible through its name singleton object we will see later here i'm defining a object called calculations the only difference between this example and previous example that i have changed the keyword class to object here and in order to call this member function from this object we don't need to instantiate any object here it just the object name and then dot and then sum of two numbers the method name the function name and its argument when you execute it will give you the result now it's time to practice the same exercise we need to write a scala to open the ripple we will write variable greet welcome to scala express here we have defined this variable as well that means by its nature immutable nature it will not allow us to reassign the value let's check yes this is what we expected it is not allowing us to reassign the value and it is serving us one error called reassignment to val fair now let's try assigning some variable with var okay we have defined one variable with var the value i've given is hello everyone now let's see since we have defined this variable with var it should allow us to resend the value yes it is completely fine because it has mutable nature that means we can reassign value and number of times it is completely fine next thing i'll explain to you how to define a function in order to define a function first we need to keep the def as keyword and then the function name then its parameter then its return type and there you can write any business logic okay and your function has been created now to call this function you just need to type the function name to comma 2 and boom it will give you the result 4 now we will see how to define a class so to define a class first we need to write the keyword called class and then we will write a class name called calculation then we'll open up the curly braces with this we will define the same function which we have defined earlier and then we will close the curly braces so our class is ready with its member function now it's time to call the member function first we need to create the object of this class like this and then we need to call the function name and then we need to give the value Two. our result is 5 we have successfully called the class member now we will see how to create an object to create an object first you need to write the keyword object then you can write object name 
then you can open up the curly braces just like the classes then we'll define the same sum function and then we will close the curly braces now it is giving us the warning previously defined class calculation is not a companion to the object okay that's fine it just in warning our companion must be defined together you may wish to use paste mode for this now so right now our defined object calculation is created successfully now let's see how to call its member function when we are calling object member functions we don't need to create any instance that means we don't need to use any new keyword with a uh, with this statement we will simply write the object name as calculation we will give it a call to sum and we will give the arguments value boom we got the result 8 so this is how we create we define variables with val and var and we define functions and we learn how to define classes and we learn how to define objects in Scala. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, keep posted your questions and subscribe this channel so that you will get notification for every updated video of mine. Thank you so much. Have a good day.